The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. Hello wrestling fans and welcome to Championship Wrestling presented by Amarillo Venom. I'm John Roberts. Now this week we've got another week of our blockbuster event, Milestone. This week in the main event, the United Television Championship is on the line. Royce Isaac set to defend against Young Fuego, Adrian Quest. But that's not all folks, it's one of the most heated rivalries in the 10 year history of the United Wrestling Network. Dan Joseph and Ty Matthews go at it one on one to kick things off. Let's join Todd Kennelly on the call. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Dickie Mayer from Woodward, Oklahoma, weighing in at 205 pounds. He is the first progenitor of hyper optimism, Ty Matthews. Set for action here, week two of Milestone. Ty Matthews, always with a grin like a cat that just ate the canary. He might lose that smile as Dan Joseph finally is gonna get his hands on him one-on-one. -on -one. I just wanna high-five him through, 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 the, through their TV, can I? I just wanna high-five him. Love you, this man. You would. Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you that your scheduled match between Ty Matthews and Dan Joseph will not be happening tonight. You see, Dan, I saw the look in your eyes when I pinched you in the middle of this ring the last time we met each other. And I saw, I saw into the soul of a defeated man. You see, by the end of the day, Dan Joseph, he's going to do exactly what I've been saying this whole time, and he's going to raise his hand in allegiance of hyper-optimism. Everything I've done and everything I've said up until now has been part of a master plan, and that plan comes to fruition tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to the defeated man, the shell of his former self and the newest crusader in the name of hyper-optimism. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Joseph. Kid me another bait and switch. You talking about a By bait Ty and Matthews. switch. Matthews. Talking about a bait and switch. You heard him, you heard him. You doubt that man? The man knows his stuff, Kennelly. And introducing his opponent from Buffalo, New York, weighing in at 201 pounds. Dan Joseph! How many hurdles is Ty Matthews gonna force Dan Joseph to leap? What are you talking about? The man makes the man better, Kennelly. You don't get you don't get changed without challenge. And absolutely Ty Matthews knows that. Look at look at Dan Joseph right now. He's like, hey, he, he's on to something. He's a cool guy. I doubt very seriously that that is what's going through the mind of my former broadcast colleague, former broadcast colleague. You know what, Kenley? Every single time I'm out here, you have to go ahead and talk about Dan Joseph about being a former, 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 former broadcast colleague. He wasn't good then, he's not good now. Well, Milestone's all about remembering the good old days. That's enough. like a man in front of you because you say you know me, Ty Matthews, and you know I'm gonna put my hand up and I'm gonna be your friend. Well, you knew a little bit, and a little bit of knowledge. Oh, brother, that's a dangerous thing. You didn't know the fire that burns in me for my family. You don't know how I feel when you insult my family and now I'm gonna put my hand up like that? Okay, hot shot. Okay, because I see what you do. You ain't nothing. You got in my head earlier, but no more. You're just a little, a little crazy, 
dysfunctional motivational speaker, a little tiny Robbins here. Now was, Swing and a miss there by Dickie Mayer, and likewise for the first progenitor of Hyper Optimism. Match hasn't even started, Kelly. Match hasn't even started. What is he doing? Well, Ty Matthews was trying to weasel himself out of the match. Excuse somebody like Ty Matthews for trying to motivate Dan Joseph. This is insane. Listen to these people. These idiots, they don't get it just like you don't get it, Kennelly. He's trying to help that man. Oh, you mean Tiny Robbins? Oh. Tiny Robbins. It wasn't even a funny joke. I, I found it hilarious. Oh, that's because you're lame. Big shots now, and now back to our originally scheduled matchup here. One way or another, there's no official. Is this thing not official at the moment? But Dan Joseph, though, getting what he wants, and that's getting his hands all over Ty Matthews. Oh, yeah, but you know what? Dan Joseph can only go so far because there's one man there. That's Dickie Mayer going back in to make the save. Beautiful job. He shows his respect, Kennelly. He knows where he came from. Well, this was not supposed to be a handicap match. It's not any match. There's no official in there. Every single thing right there is out the door. The legal, the legal mumbo jungle is gone. Now, running down Dickie Mayer is Dan Joseph. Not the Dickie! Oh, oh, the gore! That big spear out of nowhere. Ever the opportunist, Ty Matthews. Makes me sick. If there was a referee in here, this thing would be over. And Dan Joseph would be submitting, crying to his master, knowing that he was should have stayed exactly where he was. And he and, and he and he got a big head of about himself and he disrespected Ty Matthews. And now he's paying the price, Kennelly. Master of misdirection is Ty Matthews, but now you got Dickie Mayer out there who is a bona fide killer. He can pick you apart in a hurry. So this is a dangerous situation here. Oh, now attacking the digits, this Ty <laughs> Matthews. <laughs> and it wasn't just attacking the digits, Hanley. He said, if you're not gonna give me your hand, I'm gonna give it for you. Beautiful job by Ty Matthews. This is hard to watch. Not they're they're going to break not that hand. They're, yeah, I agree with you there. Officials out now, finally, to stop this. No, no! That's, Kennelly, that, 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 his hand might be broken. I think I heard a snap there. Andrew Jassik, you could hear it. Wide open shot by this charlatan. Welcome to Dumas's brand new radio station, Big Country 95.3. We play the songs that all the rest of the country stations have forgotten about. Stars like George Strait, Reba, Brooks and Dunn, Randy Travis, and Tanya Tucker. Big Country 95.3 specializes in country songs from the 80s and 90s. And we also sneak in a country classic every now and then. It's your favorite country songs without a lot of talk. So tell all your friends about this brand new radio station. Big Country 95.3. And now in Amarillo on 96.5. This is important news for people who have taken Zantac or its generic ranitidine and then suffered from cancer. Zantac and generic ranitidine have been linked to cancers such as bladder cancer and kidney cancer. According to the FDA, Zantac and ranitidine contain NDMA, a known cancer-causing agent. NDMA has been linked to cancers of the bladder, kidney, colon, esophagus, liver, ovaries, pancreas, and other cancers. If you or a loved one took Zantac or ranitidine and were then diagnosed with cancer, call the lawyers at Davis & Crump right now to see if you're eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Call the lawyers at Davis & Crump right now if you or a loved one took Zantac or generic and were then diagnosed with bladder cancer, kidney cancer, or any of these cancers. Call now to see if you're eligible for a cash award and medical expenses. Our first consultation is free, and we don't get paid unless you get paid. Call Davis and Crump right now. Operators are standing by. Don't do it! Oh, my God! Charging in was Ty Matthews, and look at that left working quite well. And, and using what he's got. He, you mentioned he's got one more hand, he's got two feet, he's got a lot of heart, and he's got a lot of hatred. There he used the right hand, sacrifice play, and you can see the effects. Looking to take advantage was Ty Matthews who eats the drop kick. But even posting landing on that drop kick, 
of affecting the hand of Dan Joseph. Everything's going to affect the hand, especially if you use that side of your body dominantly. Your, every single thing you do is going to affect that hand. Every single time he falls, every single time he drops, he's going to drop that hand too. Tempted pin again, the, all the extracurricular before the matchup. I'm begging for Ty Matthews to be a man and just compete one on one, face to face. Milestone is all about settling scores, Kennelly. It's all about settling scores. That's why it's so incredibly long. It's over the course of several weeks. And, and Dan Joseph and Ty Matthews, I've been looking forward to this for a very long time. It is finally time to shut that idiot Dan Joseph up and make sure he stays in his place. It is about settling scores and the actions of Matthews and Dickie Mayer might have robbed Dan Joseph from a fair opportunity to do so. You, you call fair, is they, what, what is fair? Is, they, is this not fair, this. Kennelly? Is this fair, Kennelly? No, it is not. All's fair in love and war, Kennelly. This is Milestone, lighten up. I'm sorry, Two on one attack. They brutalize the hand of Dan Joseph on the outside, perhaps crushing it, breaking several bones. Who knows? Oh yeah, you gotta figure it out. And I see it, that, that, that hand is, is swelling up, Kennelly. It's getting purple in some bad spots. Dan Joseph definitely has a broken hand at this point. Ty Matthews knows that, and look at him now playing with that man, playing with the broken shell that is Dan Joseph. This brutality after a lengthy period of mind games by Ty Matthews, trying to break down Dan Joseph mentally and now physically. And look at this, again, attacking that injured hand. You can hear the screams of pain by Dan Joseph. The referee has to take a good look at this. Yeah, the referee should show some mercy on Dan Joseph. He just called this whole dang thing. But you know what? If Dan wants to go in there and make a fool of himself and further damage that hand to the point where he can never use it again in his life, that's his prerogative, Kennelly. Even using the elbow there, sending shockwaves straight to the hand of Dan Joseph, doesn't have the strength to secure the lock for the suplex, and gets beaten down again by Matthews. Oh, and continuing to beat, continuing to punish, punish, continuing to embarrass Dan Joseph. And all he had to do, Kennelly, all this time, all he had to do was show respect to Ty Matthews, and he refused to do that. And again, he's paying the price for it right now. Dan Joseph finding out the hard way right now just how much that injury affects his offensive playbook. Extremely limited in what he can do in there right now. Look out here. Great throw by Ty Matthews. Well versed in many forms of the suplex. Into the cover, looking for the victory. Doesn't hook the leg. And again, the heart of Dan Joseph, allowing him to fight on in this matchup, maybe against better judgment. You know, you gotta figure this, Ty Matthews did not start out as this hyper-optimistic person. He, he, he came from, from Disdain, he came from streets, he came from hard times, and he understands that, and he's beating Dan Joseph at his own game right now. But watch, he uh -oh, goes up top, uh -oh. this is nasty. Usually Ty Matthews more of a flightless bird, and you find out why, he should have stayed grounded. And this is a huge opportunity, maybe, for Dan Joseph. But look at, you see yeah. Dickie Mayer looming on the outside. Looming on the outside is right, Kennelly. You do whatever you can to secure a victory. That's what hyper-optimism is all about, is, is making sure that you have the, the, the V no matter what. Making sure you have the two-on-one advantage. Two-on-one advantage? It's not a two-on-one advantage. Dan Joseph knew what he was getting into when he came out here. Springboard in, was looking for that German suplex. Again, not able to do it. Has enough there for the flapjack. And Matthews hit hard and heavy. Here's the cover. Oh, what a gutsy win. Not yet. And you saw that Dickie Mayer, look, he was all too ready to come in there and, and aid and assist. Oh, D D okay, so you and I are obviously watching two completely different things. You can keep your biases at the door. Dickie Mayer was shouting at Ty Matthews, got a little too excited. That's what optimism can do for you. He definitely had some motivation to go in there and make sure that Ty Matthews heard him, so he leaned into the ring a little bit. Every single thing with you is cheating or some kind of two-faced, two-on-one and all this stuff. Crying all you can, Kennelly. Dan Joseph's gonna have to get creative here. Again, he's down one hand in this matchup, looking for a tornado, tornado DDT. Gets suplexed right into that bottom rope, and again, gotta go back in history here. It was a knee injury that kept Dan Joseph sidelined for quite some time, and that blow to the rope is not gonna do him any favors. Double hook of the leg here by Matthews. Close call. Very, very close call indeed. You know, you gotta figure this. You're gonna have a hand 
that is now completely useless. You take apart the legs, and that's completely useless. Taking one part at a time, picking them down limb from limb is Ty Matthews to Dan Joseph. And now getting ready to finish it off here, Kennelly. Dan Joseph's gonna run out of options, but a beautiful counter. He saw the spear coming. Caught him with that backcracker. Oh, can you imagine if he pulls this off? Here's the cover. There's two. The referee distracted by Dickie Mayer. The referee distracted by anything. The, the man has a short attention span. That's not the fault of Dickie Mayer. Keep your nose in the, in the match where it belongs. Well, speaking of distractions. No! Dickie Mayer eats the gore. Distance created, drop kick. Oh my goodness, where is Dan Joseph finding this from? Just digging way down deep. It's the love of his family, the pride, the guts, the will to fight. You're seeing it all on display. Caught him with the DDT and do. Look at Guillotine now drops him yet again. The instant replay, you might say. Two for the price of one. Into the cover, will he get the one, two, three? He does! Yes! Yes, yes, Here yes! Here is your winner, Dan Joseph! Sweet revenge for Dan Joseph. More to come at Milestone. All right, folks, John Roberts here with Jamie Ivey and Royce Isaacs. And Royce, let's cut to the chase. You are still the United Television Champion because of the relationship that you guys have with head matchmaker Nico Marquez. You were able to erase history. Do you have any words for Adrian Quest going into today's title defense? I have a couple words for you, John. Um, not erasing history, okay? We're making history. And you don't need to worry about my relationship with Nico Marquez. I think you need to worry about your relationship with shutting up. Adrian, sorry, my man, but it's not my fault you don't know how to properly challenge for a title. That's your problem. Hey, Captain, I don't know your name yet. What is the difference between t the match two weeks ago and the moon landing? I'll, I'll, I'll answer for you. Neither of them happened. And what is going to happen is Royce is going to take care of something that wasn't a problem before. But it is now. You decided to stick around Mr. Quest, and because of that, you must be punished. And Roy is great at one thing, and that is taking care of problems. You could bet on that. A dollar sign on that. Take it to the bank. I don't care. Adrian! Be ready. Clean out your lawn and garden the smart way with a DR Chipper Shredder. Reduce leaves, garden cutting sticks and twigs, even big branches, to a fraction of their original volume. Call now or go online to lock in factory direct savings on the full line of DR Chipper Shredders. For a free buyer's guide, call 1-800-475-0828. Special pricing and free shipping are now in effect online at drchipper.com. Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. If something happened to you, what would happen to them? Their home, their education, their future. You need life insurance. And chances are SelectQuote can help you get it for less than a dollar a day. SelectQuote found Jacob 40, a $500,000 policy for only $19 a month. And SelectQuote found his wife, Wendy, a $500,000 policy for only $17 a month. Our secret? At SelectQuote, we aggressively comparison shop up to 10 highly rated companies to find you the company with the best rates. 
We found Gary, 35, a $1 million policy for only $22 a month. Why pay more? Give your family the security they need at a price you can afford. Call 800-216-0389 or go to selectquote.com now and get the insurance your family needs. At a price you can afford. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Welcome back to Championship Wrestling presented by Amarillo Venom. Now, in our main event, the United Television Championship is on the line. Royce Isaacs defending against Adrian Quest. Now, Quest has pinned the television champion before. However, that match was not a sanctioned match for the television championship. In the main event, Sign Seal delivered. It is sanctioned. Royce Isaacs has to defend that championship against Adrian Quest. Will Adrian be able to strike twice and get another pinfall victory? Only time will tell. Coming up next, the stars of the National Wrestling Alliance are in the house, kicking things off with Thunder Rosa in action. Let's go back inside the Ocean View Pavilion. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Los Angeles, California, Viva Fan! Switching gears to showcase the women's division at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. And Viva Van, we've seen her in action here in the Ocean View Pavilion before. Great competitor, very agile, very well versed in the art of Lucha Libre. She's got a tough uphill battle in this matchup. Absolutely, Kennelly, and, and, and honestly, I don't like her chances against, against her competitor, which is about to make her way down right now. And introducing her opponent from the graveyards of Tijuana, Mexico, Thunder Rosa! In the decade of championship wrestling from Hollywood, one of the big focal points has been the relationship with the National Wrestling Alliance. That partnership stronger than ever before, straight from NWA power, we see Thunder Rosa. Incredible lethal striking ability. Such an aggressive competitor. Should be a great matchup. Clash of styles in this one. Clash of styles to say the least. And anybody that comes in from NWA power, you know they are bringing their A game. Thunder Rosa is no exception to that. This, this woman has brought so much, so much pain to her opponents. She's an amazing athlete, and Viva Van better bring her A game tonight. Viva Van's gonna have to stick a move. You see the collar and elbow tie up. Not too many competitors will pick a fight with Allison Kay. That's exactly what Thunder Rosa did at NWA Power time and time again. And so aggressive. Going for the hair is Thunder Rosa. Great competitor wherever the fight may go in the world of combat sports. Saw her journey into mixed martial arts recently on NWA Power as well, documented. And really do it all. But loves to dish out pain and punishment and looks to do that right now. Into the fireman's carry here by Thunder Rosa. Out the back door goes Viva Van, trying to use her agility and trying to catch a quick one. Close call. Viva Van has been absent for a little while now. But coming back, definitely wants to make an, an impact. And if you can imagine, if she puts away Thunder Rosa, that will definitely cover after the lakes. We have her some credibility in this company, Kennelly. Trying to keep Thunder Rosa off balance. Stealing a little page out of the, Rosa's playbook with that short elbow. And again, well first, we'll see if balance serves her well. Oh, getting a little too flashy, then tries to go rudimentary into the arm drag, but nullified. Quick leg drop there by Thunder Rosa into the cover. Had seen enough of that. Yeah, absolutely. You can't do something like that with Thunder Rosa and expect a good outcome out of it. Thunder Rosa has been there, done that, knows her opponents way too well, and she will punish you for making stupid mistakes. That's why they call it high-risk offense. Paying for it right now is Viva Van. Nice cover. Trying to put her away is Thunder Rosa. Again, you heard those drums just proud of that warrior heritage is Thunder Rosa. I wouldn't be proud. That's definitely a lot to be proud of. But Thunder Rosa, look at this. Every single time that she handles Viva Van, every single second that she has an opportunity for it, she's grabbing that hair. She's playing dirty. She's doing everything she can to make sure that she punishes her and gives her that pain. And that's what Thunder Rosa is known for best. Thunder Rosa gives her that little something extra on, on every maneuver, as you mentioned. 
in complete control right now. And Viva Van trying to fight from underneath in earnest, but you're not gonna outstrike the striker in this exchange. Viva Van's gotta use her speed, gotta get out of there, get some distance. Thunder Rosa now getting lippy with the referee, and the referee knows he ain't gonna do nothing Thunder Rosa either. This is the dominance we've grown to accustomed from Thunder Rosa in Atlanta, Georgia at NWA Power and now bringing it out here to the West Coast at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood. Picking up the pace, double knees, couldn't see it coming. And Van crumbles to the canvas. Something like that could snap your neck in a New York minute, Kennelly. Into the cover now, Thunder Rosa going for the victory. Near fall. Viva Van hasn't put in much offense, but I will tell you this, and I'll give her a little bit of credit. She's definitely kicking out. She's holding her own in there as best she can with, with the likes of Thunder Rosa. Uh, unfortunately, someone like that who does moves like this and has absolutely no regard to your well-being is just not going to get put away uh, with, with such little attempts to do offensive moves. Neck breaker now. High impact move by Thunder Rosa. Continues to just dissect her opponent in this matchup. We saw the double knees earlier by Rosa. We know how deadly she is with the double stop axe kick. Right between the shoulder blades. That thunder stomp that she has utilized to perfection on power. Powerful way to put your opponent away. But look at this, the guts on display of Viva Van trying to use her agility as we mentioned she would have to. You gotta stick and move, double knees in her own right. Trying to turn it into a pinning combination. Count of two. And Viva Van might have to try to get a little, steal, uh, steal a page out of some of my favorite wrestlers. Playbooks grabbed that rope when she was covering Thunder Rosa, but that just shows the desperation she has against that woman. A fight fire with fire, that's for certain. Whatever it takes to try and get that victory, especially in a high profile matchup like this at Milestone. Thunder Rosa goes zero to painful in about 1.5 seconds. Look out here, not where you want to be if you're Viva Van. Oh my goodness, Kennelly, that broke her in half. The absolute wrong way, it looks like a lawn chair right now. That's gotta be it for Viva Van. Thunder stomp into the cover, that's gonna do it. Here is your winner, Thunder Rosa. Whether it's Atlanta, Georgia, or out here on the west coast of California, one thing remains the same, Thunder Rosa, dominant in competition. More coming your way at Milestone. Attention, if you've had a hernia surgery after 2006 and suffered from serious side effects such as infection, chronic pain, organ damage, mesh shrinkage, or mesh migration, you could be eligible for financial compensation. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte right now at the number on your screen. Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, has withdrawn its Physio Mesh Flexible Composite Mesh from the market. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. This is a paid advertisement for legal services sponsored by attorney Robert Goldwater. Do not stop taking a prescribed medication without first consulting a physician. Attention, the heartburn medication Zantac has been linked to cancer. The FDA has called for the popular over-the-counter heartburn medication Zantac to be pulled from the market. If you were diagnosed with cancer and were a daily user of Zantac, call the Goldwater Law Firm right now. Zantac may have caused your cancer and you may be entitled to compensation for what you've been through. If you're a loved one was a daily user of the heartburn medication Zantac and were then diagnosed with cancer, call us right now. You may be entitled to substantial compensation. If you were diagnosed with stomach, bladder, kidney, pancreatic, colon, or any type of cancer after using Zantac, call the Goldwater Law Firm. You may qualify for a cash award. Call 1-800-650-4600. That's 1-800-650-4600. 1-800-650-4600. Closed captioning provided by Big Country 95.3 and 96.5 in Amarillo. Welcome to Dumas's brand new radio station, Big Country 95.3. We play the songs that all the rest of the country stations have forgotten about. Stars like George Strait, Reba, Brooks and Dunn, Randy Travis, and Tanya Tucker. Big Country 95.3 specializes in country songs 
from the 80s and 90s. And we also sneak in a country classic every now and then. It's your favorite country songs without a lot of talk. So tell all your friends about this brand new radio station. Big Country 95.3. And now in Amarillo on 96.5. Welcome to another edition of Championship Wrestling presented by Amarillo Venom News Central. I am Dustin Starr alongside my lovely Maria. We hope you've been enjoying some of the best of Championship Wrestling, including the great spectacle from China. Plus, the sighting of NWA World Heavyweight Champion Nick Aldis. And of course, here at Amarillo, the 10 pounds of gold have been worn by both Terry Funk and Dory Funk Jr., and I have a feeling we'll be seeing that championship belt back here in some way, shape, or form. With things starting to open back up in Texas slowly, it is our goal to work with our presenting sponsor, the Amarillo Venom, for the return of indoor football, along with the return of Lives Pro Wrestling as well. Stay up to date and informed with everything Championship Wrestling Amarillo on our Facebook page. We hope you're getting to know the stars of Championship Wrestling presented by your Amarillo Venom each and every week. Myself and my Maria look forward to someday being there on the high plains with you. And that was your championship wrestling presented by Amarillo Venom News Central. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, being accompanied to the ring by Kid Eisen from sunny Southern California, weighing in at 3,000 butterflies, Gentleman Jervis. Boom! How can you boo this man? How can you boo any man? That these men deserve it. I, I hate these cars. Gentlemania running wild as it has so many times here at Championship Wrestling from Hollywood as we celebrate another anniversary here at Milestone. He's given us so many great moments. Milestone was great up until this point, can we? I don't think that's a bit harsh. And introducing his opponent, hailing from Mongrovia, weighing in at 280 pounds, the Question Mark. Question Mark making his Hollywood debut, shrouded in mystery, forged in the lava and the cold Mongrovian winds, and a master of karate. He's a master of karate, you said. It's karate. That's what I said, karate. I, I, our own John Roberts found that out the hard way in a recent interview as well. Well, in any event, I don't like Jervis's chances. And, and thank goodness somebody's on here to finally put an end to this clown. I don't like Jervis's chances. At one point, he, Jervis has had some great wins. Former tag team champion. And, and looking to... Uh, Offer some sportsmanship, a little hug to the question mark. Oh, yeah. Question is, will he accept? Oh, I see what you did there. That was funny. Are there hugs in karate? No, I think it's more of an art, a striking art. It's not really grappling based. Oh, that man is mysterious, Kenley. We'll, we'll see if these two can get on the same page when it comes to the bowing. What is Jervis doing? Jervis is doing it all wrong. Look, he made a mat. Throwing the hat, and Jervis, I don't know, kind of playing into the game plan, you gotta believe with the question mark, but taste control the arm, and if you can neutralize the arm, you take out some of that karate. I don't think the question mark even knows what to think of this. You think the question mark is ticklish, Ken? I don't think there's any tickling in Mongrovia. There you see the karate on display, nice takedown. By the question mark. The question mark has certainly bolstered the opportunities of Aaron the Idol Stevens on NWA Power, a unique partnership of sorts. Is Jervis thinking? No, he's not thinking at all. That answers that. That was easy. Well, you, you get that position, you're not putting yourself in harm's way, but eats a big. Karate chop there and another by the question mark. Gotta watch out for that Mongrovian spike. Our own D-man Dan Parker found out the hard way 
on power got turned inside out. So lethal. One for the highlight reel, low light if you're Dan Parker. Look out here, round and round he goes. Momentum. And gentleman Jervis looking to take advantage. Maybe a home field advantage. As the question mark is a long way from Mongrovia, but seemed impervious to pain on that uh, exchange. Well, the question mark is impervious to pain. Obviously, the man is he, he, he's shrouded in, the, in this. He's an, he's an enigma, Kennelly, an absolute enigma. And that's the idea. He's playing mind games with his opponent. You could tell that Jervis has fallen right into the trap. Listen to the crowd. They love him. We love him. I love it, uh, you know, I, but I agree with you. Jervis can't go shot for shot in the mysterious art of karate. He's got to fight his own fight. He's got to stick and move. He's got to be unorthodox. This is, this is, as you mentioned, falling straight into the game plan of the question mark. You know, I've got a great game plan for Jervis. He should probably just go back to the locker room, pack up, and go home. I want to know, you usually have the scoop. Who do you think this guy is? Who is the question mark? Well, Kennelly, I don't, I don't think I know. I know who the question mark is, Kennelly. I know exactly who's under that mask. Oh, man, he gave him, I think, a variation of the death touch there. You saw it. Uh, finger strike into, into the nerve endings, and Jervis just crumbled to the canvas. This is the most unique thing I've ever seen live, Kennelly. Watch out if you're if you're Kid Isaac out there. Crane kick that won the uh, All Valley Tournament. Is it going to take down the question mark? Remains to be answered. Big spear by Gentleman Jervis. Oh, look out here! Did not elect to go for the cover. Mistake on, in your estimation there, Andrew. I'm just trying to figure out what we're talking about, the Old Valley Tournament. You're talking about Mr. Miyagi and them? Was I was talking that? about the crane kick, yes. Oh, that was terrible joke. Yes, Kennelly. Daniel LaRusso used it to get Horrible. victory over Johnny Lawrence, although some thought that it was an illegal strike. Look out here, low-risk offense. He ran right into that variation of the Mongrovian spike. Now he gets all of it. Down goes Jervis, victim to the art of karate. You're the best around. Here is your winner, the question mark. The question mark using the power, you might say, of karate. More coming your way at Milestone. Who is that man? Health Markets compares your current plan with thousands of options nationwide from national insurance companies. With so many changes to health insurance plans, are you still sure you have the right fit? That's why I love Health Markets, your insurance marketplace. They guarantee you won't find a lower price anywhere for the plans they offer. Their new Fit Score instantly compares thousands of plans, both on the government exchange and off, to find the one that best fits your insurance needs. In minutes, you can find out if your current plan is the right fit, or if there's another one that can get you extra coverage or help save you money. Best of all, their service is completely free. You may even qualify for free health insurance with no monthly premiums. The Health Markets Fit Score makes it easy to find the right plan for you. For this free service, call right now. Your insurance marketplace, Health Markets. Call Health Markets today at 1-800-207-1241. That's 1-800-207-1241. We are the dreamers. We come in a variety of colors. And styles. A variety of sizes. We come in different patterns. And different materials. We are the dreamers. Achieving your dream can take work. I just wanted to do a career. But don't give up. Changing my life. Don't ever give up. Ignore the haters. They didn't believe that I can do it, and I just proved them that I can. Independence University. IU is an online college. Education online for a better life offline. So your campus is wherever you want it to be. Take classes when you want to take classes. At IU, you receive the tools you need at no extra cost. Even a brand new laptop and tablet to use in school. You're going to keep that laptop and tablet when you graduate. And IU's career services work really hard to help you get a job. You've got to have dreams. Independence University. Education online for a better life offline. Call 1-800-893-1653. That's 1-800-893-1653. It is main event time. And there you see who I estimate to be the uncrowned United Television Champion. He defeated the champion, Royce Isaacs, after defeating Jamie Iovine. He 
jump that hurdle. But Nico Marquez making the judgment that it was non-sanctioned, but he gets his opportunity here at Milestone. You get one more opportunity, kid. One more opportunity. Don't screw it up like you did last time. There you see him, the captain of Jamie Iovine's upper class. The roster a little thinner as of late, as Double Platinum didn't agree to, or couldn't agree and come to terms contractually. So it's kind of down to the television champion and the Killer Bay, Heather Monroe. Good riddance to bad rubbish. I always hated those guys. Royce Isaacs putting the gold on the line. When Adrian Quest initially made the challenge, Iovine and Isaacs kind of laughed it off. I don't think they were laughing when Young Fuego defeated the champion last time out, although, of course, the title now we now know was not on the line, but it certainly is this time out. You know, as we could tell, defeated did not defeat because he's not wearing that title. You know, in fact, according to me, that match never even happened, Kennel. Oh, it happened. It happened all right, and champion and challenger both know it, and how does it affect their psyche? It's coming in to this main event, television title matchup. Seconds away from action, and we go to ring announcer, Adnan Qureshi, to set the stage. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the United Television Championship. Introducing first, the challenger. From the Quest Coast, weighing in at 162 pounds, Young Fuego, Adrian Quest. <laughs> and introducing the champion from the Mile High City, weighing in at 232 and one half pounds. He is the team captain of Jamie Iovine's upper class and the United Television Champion, Royce Isaacs. Stage is set, what a main event we have. Can Young Fuego catch lightning in a bottle again and defeat Isaacs when the title is officially on the line? No loopholes in this one. Officially sanctioned title matchup. There's what it's all about. The United Television Championship. And since it's milestone, that championship has been a cornerstone of this, of this program. Great television champions, the likes of Scorpio Sky, Willie Mack, Bateman. Royce Isaacs. Long list, and Royce Isaacs, again the champion. Gets caught in the early going there. Young Fuego fired up, and you gotta believe the young Fuego does believe now. He knows he can beat Isaacs, but can he do it here in this championship main event? Well, he's gonna have to do it all over again. You know, the fact that you get lucky one time does not mean anything. You gotta reach down deep to pull it off again. And Royce Isaacs, the idea is that Royce Isaacs already knows his game plan, already knows his tricks, already knows all the little dirty stunts he's gonna pull, and he's not gonna have it this time, Kennelly. Bulldog, and he's got the champion rocked. In the early seconds of this matchup, sent on outside, inside, keeping the champ off balance and into the cover, looking to make quick work of Isaacs. You're not, nobody's gonna make quick work of Isaacs, Kennelly. You catch him sleeping. Showing your ignorance again, Kennelly. Talking out of your butt like you always do. Royce Isaacs not gonna be able to, 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 to let that one go. Royce Isaacs is gonna walk home exactly as he came in, the United Television Champion. Isaacs has been through some wars with that title on the line a while ago. Bull rope matchup with Bateman. What a bloody war that was. And now in there with a different style competitor in Young Fuego, who is all fired up. That chop doesn't register, just makes him angrier. You just get a sense that there's confidence just brimming in Young Fuego. He feels that this, this is his time. Well, it's Milestone Kennelly. What, what better stage to, to, to crown that champion than, than this one. But, but you have to remember that just because you're in a big event against an amazing talent, against, with, 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 with all odds stacked against you, and you did it the first time, doesn't mean you're gonna be able to Hold do it on again. here. Young Fuego will go high risk. Suicide dive, it was blocked and nullified by the champion who sends 
Adrian Quest into the stairs, hard and heavy on the outside. That's got to hurt, Kenley. That's got to hurt. That's steel right there. That's not That's not the, 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 the rings. That's not the ropes. That's solid steel right there on the back of Adrian Quest. He is hurt right now. Quest went high risk in the early going of the matchup, and it cost him there. Got stopped in a big way, and now just getting ragdolled by the physically dominant champion, Royce Isaacs. Two bits of steel uh, did Quest eat just within a minute apart, Kennelly, within a minute apart. Royce Isaacs in complete control right now. Look at him taunting the fans, and they love him, man. I love him too. Yeah, but Isaacs cannot afford to get overconfident, but dragging Adrian Quest all over the Ocean View Pavilion on the outside. Now back into the inside where he's gonna try and finish off the challenger into the cover now after gaining a huge advantage on the outside. You see the eyes of Isaacs right there, the determination, the tenacity, the viciousness of Isaacs is just, it's awe-inspiring to me, Kennelly. Adrian Quest, again, his challenge laughed off initially by Isaacs and Iovine. They weren't laughing after Quest beat him last time out. But, it, you know, again, it's just got to be a fire in the belly of Adrian Quest. He's come so close so many times. Can he win the big one here? And uh, Half Nelson nullified by the champion. In control right now is the champ. It continues right after this. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, inventor of MyPillow. Thanks to your support, you've helped make MyPillow become one of the fastest growing companies in America. Over the last 12 years, you've helped MyPillow create thousands of jobs right here in the USA. When I got MyPillow, I'm asleep almost immediately. I stay asleep at night, and I wake up more well-rested in the morning. That's why I invented MyPillow. My patented fill adjusts to your exact individual needs and helps keep your neck supported and aligned. I'm interrupting this commercial right now to give you deep discounts, not just on my pillows, but also my mattress topper sheets and so much more. For example, you can get body pillows regularly $89.99, only $29.99 with your promo code. With our 60-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Sleep well, America! For the best night's sleep in the whole wide world, visit MyPillow.com. This is a paid advertisement for legal services by Philip George's. Do not stop taking prescriptions without consulting a physician. Attention, the heartburn medication Zantac has been linked to cancer. If you developed cancer and were a daily user of Zantac, call attorney Philip George's and join the Wolf Pack. If you were a daily user of the heartburn medication Zantac and were diagnosed with cancer, you may be entitled to substantial compensation. Call 1-800-598-5857. That's 1-800-598-5857. Are you or a loved one between the ages of 50 to 80 years old? If you are younger than 80 years old, do you receive Social Security, Disability, or Medicare? If you answered yes, you may qualify for $30,000 in funeral insurance for only pennies a day. The average funeral costs around $11,000, and Social Security only pays $255, leaving your loved ones to pay the balance. Call now to see if you qualify for $30,000 in funeral expense coverage from Senior Legacy Life. Your rate will never increase. Your benefits will never decrease, and there is no medical exam, even if you have a pre-existing disease or illness. Don't be a financial burden to your family. Lock in your rate by completing an application over the phone right now. Will you qualify for funeral insurance up to $30,000 for only pennies a day? Find out for free by calling Senior Legacy Life. Call 1-800-928-5049. That's 1-800-928-5049. 1-800-928-5049. Closed captioning provided by Big Country 95.3 and 96.5 in Amarillo. Jawbreaker by Adrian Quest. You can see the effects etched all over the face of the champion. Sidewalk slam, deep hook of the leg. And Quest is going to have to contend with that size and strength advantage of the champ. I bet Quest got a real big head after he beat up Jamie Iovine. If you come in there and you take advantage of somebody who's never trained a day in his life, go in there, wipe the mat with them, and think that you're the man and had this all, all of a sudden this inspired confidence. And thanks to a few missteps by Royce, he actually takes the title away. But you know what? The reality is that Adrian Quest is not as good as Iveen or Royce, and Royce is now making him pay for his actions. That sign me power slam into the cover now. Only accounted to 
for the champion, Royce Isaacs, winning championship gold has been his business. Business has been very good. Current television champion, former Heritage champion, former NWA World Tag Team title holder as well. Did you see Royce's mouth right now? It is absolutely busted open. You might be able to thank that jawbreaker for that, Kennelly. You can see initially, I mean, the shock on the face after he ate that jawbreaker, it, it certainly affected the champion, but we've seen the champion a bloody mess in the past. We look back to that bull rope match. He will fight with every ounce of blood he's got in him to hold on to that title. You gotta figure a man that can be able to do this to people that has absolutely no regard to their well-being or their safety will do every single thing he can to, to, to take that title home with him. And now that he knows everything about Adrian Quest, now that he's already battled Adrian Quest, and he understands all of his tactics, all of his tricks, just as I mentioned before, he is definitely going to make short work of this young punk, and he'll understand not to cross Isaacs again. Covered now by the champion after that Billy to back suplex. And I, I mentioned it earlier. With that huge power discrepancy, the champion has really ragdolled the challenger, and you saw it there again, the way he just was able to sling Quest down to the mat with that suplex. But you better be careful. You can't toy with Young Fuego. You can toy with Young Frito all you want. What does it matter? The kid's a punk. Well, it's working out for the champion right now, but better be careful when you play with fire. You might get burned. We'll see. And there you see it right there. Beautiful counter by Young Fuego. Mahistro Cradle to make history this time. He's no, gonna pay for that, Kennelly. He's gonna pay for it. Boom! And there it is. Make history my foot. There's your man right there, Royce Isaacs. What a clothesline. All the momentum. The athletic champion rolling through as well. Now looking to put him away. But again, only and there you see the blood trickling from the mouth of the champion after that jawbreaker might have bit his own tongue. Who knows? And look at the face of that man, Jamie Iovine, looking on with angst, looking on with anxiety, making sure that his, that, that his client is well versed in there and making sure that he's gonna take home that victory. This is why this team works so well. They have that unity, they have that foundation. You know, you could, you could, you could talk about double platinum all you want and leaving or whatever. They were cowards and they have no business being in here with Jamie Iovine and Royce Isaacs. Royce Isaacs now about to make the short work. He might be able to steal his victory right now. The power of Royce Isaacs, the balance. But look at this, how about the agility of the challenger and would-be champion able to counter into the Hurricane Rana and buy some time. Oh, this is not looking good. It's gonna come down to who wants it more. Who's gonna dig down deeper, find that little something extra with the United Television Championship on the line. And as this thing goes into deep water, that bleeding in the mouth, when you can't breathe through your nose any longer, he might not be able to breathe through his mouth either, talking about the champ. And you know what? Uh, this is the first time I've seen in a long time, Jamie Iovine has this look of worry on his face that he did not have coming into this match. And speaking of worry, my goodness! Didn't pay off earlier, but it does this time. Springboard into the crossbody, and down goes the champ yet again. Problem is, you can't put him away for the title here on the outside, and you gotta be leery of Iovine as well. Yes, absolutely, you have Iovine in there as a factor. You do not wanna get too close to too many enemies at once, and that's exactly what Quest has put himself into. Jamie Iovine is stepping back, giving Quest the opportunity to take advantage, and that's fine and dandy, because he has confidence that Royce is gonna be able to counter this. Challenger had the champ cornered. Champ fighting his way out, however, big super kick. Drops the champion to a knee. Can Young Fuego capitalize all this strength to get him in that fireman's carry? Death Valley driver delivers. Last ditch effort, however, slow to cover. Oh, now finds a way. Here we go. Can he hook the leg? So close. That hand was coming down. You see the strength that it had to, that, that uh, young Frito had to take to get up the leg of Royce Isaacs. He could barely even lift that leg. That's how gassed he is. That's how tired he is. That's how broken and busted he is right now. That's the punishment from Royce Isaacs talking. Young Fuego, I'm begging you. Okay, show the guy some respect. He's in there in a hellacious battle in our main event for the television title. And you think it's cute to call him Young Frito? Okay, enough's enough. It wasn't funny the first time. I can't help it that the sheet is wrong. What do you want me to do? I didn't know you could read. Yeah, hold on, look out here. Oh, big shot oh. there, turned him inside out. My goodness, 
Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Now into the grass, fishing for the win. Down at two. Young Fuego finds a way. Finds a way to keep fighting. I wouldn't have been able to find that way. That looked like it was really, really painful. I have never seen anybody take a, uh, I've never seen anybody flip absolutely backwards, outside, inside out like that, like Royce Isaacs did to Young Frito. This is absolutely insane. Is Royce, Royce is such a, such a great athlete as well. He's not pure power. He's got tons of torque and momentum as well. He's looking for the hush money, looking for a counter roll up. Look at this, just total control. Oh my goodness, out of the scramble, Young Fuego gets the better of it. Into the leg drop, just keeping the champ guessing, man. Adrian Quest now looking for this springboard. This is where he's absolutely most dangerous. The survivalist is the challenger. 40 ounce bounce, caught enough. Got that knee up. Champ goes down in harm's way. Only a count of two, two and three quarters. This is definitely a lot closer than I thought it would be, Kennelly. And I think it might be a little bit closer than Royce Isaacs thought it to be. Look at his eyes, look at the look of worry. Jamie Iovine is now slamming on the mat, telling, his, telling Royce Isaacs to get up, get control, get in the game right now, because Royce Isaacs is a mere seconds away from losing the opportunity to walk out of oh. here with that championship. Yeah, seconds away if he hits this Phoenix Splash, going for it. Out of the way was the champ, swing and a miss by Isaacs. Round and round they go. Champ's in big trouble here, deep hook of the leg. Powers his way out. You can see, you mentioned the eyes basically rolling back in the head of Isaacs, the, the champion on the defensive. Get okay. Iovine out of there. We need to get Iovine out of there. Oh, that'll do it. Absolute disgusting. He has no business doing that. He wasn't even in the match. No, 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 no. Look out here, the Superman punch. Now the hush money from the outside. And still, Kennelly, and still. Not yet. Ah. Oh. Here is your winner, and still United Television Champion, Royce Isaacs. Heartbreak City for the challenger. Came so close if he had hit that Phoenix splash, but what on earth was Jamie I being doing on the outside? That distraction, in my estimation, really cost Young Fuego, Adrian Quest, and then that huge hush money from the outside gets it done. Somehow, some way, Royce Isaacs finds a way. And look at now, it's just there an is. exhausted, the loser. Whoa, what is this? Look at Andy Brown. Oh, I know what this means, Kennelly. Maybe Uptown Andy Brown looking to bolster the ranks, but Adrian Quest having no part of it. He can't run forever, Quest. Well, there it is, folks. Unfortunately for Adrian Quest, Young Fuego, his bid to become United Television Champion, it ends at milestone as Royce Isaacs is still the United Television Champion. That's all the time we have for this week on the program, but next week, Milestone continues, and the Hollywood Heritage Championship is on the line. Champion Watts set to defend against NWA star Ricky Starks. We look forward to presenting more of Milestone next week. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm John Roberts. For everyone at Championship Wrestling, fangs up, Amarillo. The proceeding has been a presentation of the United Wrestling Network.